Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our MathGate game. When you first start the menu, this is, uh, I should say when you first start the game, this is the, the menu you'll see. You can click this button to toggle the sound on and off. This video will take you to this video tutorial that you're watching now. More games will take you to our website. Okay, let's go ahead and click play. This sub-menu here shows you the four different versions you can play. We have the counting version, the multiple version, the number compare version, and the even odd version. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how, to, how the game works and, and I'll show you how each of these versions play. So let's go ahead and take a look at the counting version. And here's instructions and um, the object of the game on this on the counting version is where you have the five over here. You try to get five balls over here and then two over here. And once you do, you'll have a you'll complete that level, and you'll be given a new objective and new numbers. So um, each level, you'll get it'll show the score down here. You'll have a time to complete the uh, task in each level, and it'll show you the le level number here. The S toggles the sound on and off. The M will take you back to the menu. The R will restart the game. Let's go ahead and do that. So now the object should get six over here and one over here. Let's go ahead and move the gate and I do that by moving the mouse up and down you don't have to click or anything like that let's let two more through over here and we'll have completed the objective and the level so once it tells you what your score is uh, for that level and then it adds it to your score down here and you get a new objective now we have to get seven over here and two over here so that's how that game plays let's go ahead and take a look at the next version the multiple version, the object is to get the number of balls that are multiples of four over here and the number of balls that are multiple of five on this side. Now, if you, you will see uh, occasionally, you might see a number like 20 that's both a multiple of four and five, and they're good on either side. So that's, uh, that's how that works, and you might see that when you play. Okay, so, so we're on this, this game. Um, I need to get the 65 over there. I need to get the 76 and 16 over here on the other side because they're both multiples of 4 and they're not multiples of 5. So let's see if I, there we go. And that's how you complete that level. Now you'll notice <clears throat> when I complete this level, now I get three number of balls. And it becomes a little bit harder because uh, you've got to keep, while trying to get one uh, certain number of balls on, on one side, you've got to keep the other ones from crossing back over accidentally like that one. And let's go ahead and go there. And now the only thing I have left here is to get the uh, 36, and I might be able to do that. Let's see. If I, but I still have plenty of time. I've got, if you look down here, 36 seconds, and it looks like it'll make it right here. Oh, the four made it through there. And you can see kind of how tricky this game can be. Let's get the four back over there. And the 36, and that should be it right there. Okay. Well, that's how you play the multiples version. Go to the menu and look at the next version, which is the number compare. And on this version, on the yellow side, you're uh, to get the uh, numbers, number balls over on this side that are less than three, and the ones that are, I'm sorry, less than four, and the number, uh, the number of balls over here that are greater than four go on this side. So let's go ahead and let two is less than four. Let's let it get on this side. Let's let six over here, and I'm done with that. And the next version, <coughs> I'm sorry, the next level, you see we're on level 2, we get uh, more number balls. It becomes a little bit more complicated. But that's how you play the uh, number compare version. Now let's take a look at the even on version. And this is pretty simple. It's just get the uh, even numbers on this side, the odd numbers over here. So let's go ahead and do that. That one through there. And 21, this ought to be through. Don't let the 26 get through. There we go. So that's how you play the even odd version. Okay, well that's how the how you play the game, and there's the four different versions. We do have a Math Gate 2 that has a little bit more advanced subjects, and, and uh, you may be interested in playing that, taking a look at that. Um, well, I hope you enjoy playing this game. I hope the video helps some, and thanks for watching.